What's going on everybody? So it's being reported that Ezekiel Elliott had a late night altercation with a bouncer at a clutch bar in Dallas. And I'm gonna let you guys know right now, pretty much I'm gonna be giving you guys my predictions for the NFL season uh, very, very soon. But I just wanna make this very, very clear. People always ask me, they're like, is this guy talented? Is he probably going to be, you know, if he gets to play long enough, better than Emmitt Smith, um, better than a lot of the other running backs that have come into the league over the last decade, uh, including Adrian Peterson? And I'm quick to tell them, yes, I've seen enough from watching this guy play along with Dak Prescott uh, last season. But the one thing that I know that's going to really, really hurt this kid he doesn't know when to not be around certain things. He, he's always involved in something that he just shouldn't be involved in. And I don't know if it's just he can't remove himself from it. It's the same thing. It's the same stigma that we see all the time. And it's becoming very, very difficult because I know as a Dallas Cowboy fans, people say they're the most annoying fans and stuff like that. But I don't really believe that. I think that they just believe in what the team is because they have a very, you know, they went, they got the three Super Bowls and all that kind of stuff. They haven't done anything for a while, but you're always talking about the Cowboys. They're very interesting. They got a lot of things that go on there throughout the whole entire history of the team. Since Jerry Jones has been over there, there's been some real wild stories coming out of it. Half their defense is suspended. Dudes are taking steroids. Dudes are beating women. It's a lot of stuff that goes on. So they're very interesting. So I can understand why there's a lot of attention there. But this guy, you know, it's it's always like that. We very, very rarely get a very good athlete that's not troubled. And when I'm saying trouble, I'm not saying like, yo, the dude is like, you know, maybe he doesn't understand what he's doing. I think he understands exactly what he's doing. And I don't think that he's looking for it. I just think he doesn't understand that there's a way to go about it. Because you can't just be out there in the spotlight, bro. Dudes are going to do things to you. They're going to challenge you. you. You made it, bro. There's no need for you to go over the line because everybody's going to find a way to make you go over that line. So, if you, you know, if somebody knows Ezekiel, they got to tell him, yo, Zeke, bro get extra security don't speak to anybody go with your own people and make sure that you're surrounded don't even engage like bro you should be able to walk and in, walk into any club you want in dallas and just do whatever you want but don't take advantage of it you know in that aspect because people already know about the other stuff that's going to be brought up you know alleged um domestic violence and stuff like that so people are looking to see if you have that 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 you know that that freaking you don't have uh, uh you can't really deal with a lot of buildup, like you snap, you know what I'm saying? Like you got a very, very short switch. So people are gonna look to find ways to make you do that. And it's just very, very, it's disappointing to me. And I'm not a Dallas Cowboys fan. It's just for the game of football to see this. And you know, this guy has so much talent and I don't understand, look, they're gonna have to do something. Because I'm telling you right now, I, would, I gotta give you guys, if you want if you want my fantasy put picks and stuff like that, he was gonna be up there. Like this, the Dallas Cowboys O-line, it's just like, Yo, bro, like you have everything laid out for you. All you got to do is stay out of trouble. And he's finding a way to be in trouble. I, I just don't, wh whatever this is, this could just be something out of nothing, but you don't want to make headlines. You know what I'm saying? You just don't want to be involved in headlines, especially when you're going into a season right now where the Giants, they look like, we got to see what's going to happen with OBJ because they're probably not going to pay him or restructure his contract. So I don't know what's going to go on with that, but, um, you know, him and Brandon Marshall, I like that thing going on with, uh, you know, with Eli Manning, even though I know that Eli Manning is going to close his eyes for the most part and just throw the ball in the air. He doesn't really care what happens after that. I think he's going to have a lot more options this year. So the NFC East is very, very stacked. And with this guy doing all of this stuff, you know, Dak Prescott allegedly did things with autographs or fake autographs. There's a lot of things that are going on. Their defense walked out the door because Jerry Jones didn't want to really get rid of Tony Romo faster, you know, as, as he should have faster. He was worried about a guy that's going to walk on the field to get injured in Tony Romo instead of just releasing him and worrying about his defense. So there's a lot of things that are going on here. And I just want to make all the Cowboys fans understand because you guys are going to ask me, should I be nervous? Absolutely, you should be nervous because the NFL probably going to still suspend them, even though the, the, uh, the police didn't find anything wrong with, um, you know, whatever happened, what they investigated with that, that, that alleged uh, domestic violence uh, situation. He's probably going to still be suspended. So he won't be on the field for at least two games. OK, uh, he's doing this right now. So th th this is this is stuff that you, you got to understand. He's going to have to pay a price for it because your name can't keep getting brought up in negative light when everybody's eyes are on you. Everybody is looking to see what you're doing, but you're still doing the wrong thing. You know what I'm saying? Like you, the spotlight is on this guy and he's continuing to do the wrong things. 
it doesn't make sense and I don't know what's going on I don't know if somebody needs to sit down with him again I'm pretty sure that the Cowboys have already sat down with him like yo Z what are you doing bruh and I know he's young and I know you want to go out there and you want to ball but you got to understand bro you got a once in a lifetime opportunity to run behind a great offensive line bruh save all the BS you know what I'm saying go out there and perform and do what you're supposed to do and set your family up for long term and yourself don't do this, bruh. You got money for security. You got money for a lot of other things to make sure. You don't got to go to these places if there's going to be any kind of um, interaction with anybody, with anybody. You don't need to speak to nobody. It needs to be called, you know what I'm saying? Like, dude's got to set this man up like the celebrity that he is. And that's what he is right now. And I know sometimes it's hard to go from just being a regular Joe to a celebrity, but that's what you are, bruh. And it's just really, really crazy that every time we look, Zeke is in the news for something negative. He has to fix this. And I'm telling you right now, if he gets suspended for however many games, the Cowboys, if, if, he, if he misses two games, they lose in those two games. I don't think Dak, Pre Dak Prescott works well without him. You let me know what you're thinking. This is very, very disappointing to me. Until next time, one love.